Don't we? Look at it. Right then. Are we ready to hear the story? Are we ready yeah. to hear the story again? Yeah. Why? She's scared. Mysterious mm, wells and Taff's Well. Welcome to Taff's Well, or Croissant Farm Taff, as we say in Wales. Before you is one of our most unusual natural wonders. That's stunning. Now look at that. I want to jump in. As I tell you about this wondrous place. Oh, wow. It might be hard to believe, but you are the first people to see this water for over 5,000 years. It originally fell as rain on the hills some 25 kilometers to the north. This was at a time when the first stones were being raised at Stonehenge, and the great pyramids of Egypt were being built. Since then, it has been on an incredible adventure, flowing slowly through cracks in the earth, perhaps traveling only a few meters a year, until it reached the lowest point of its journey over 400 meters down, where it was gently warmed by the earth before returning to the surface here at Taft's Well. The water temperature is 21 degrees Celsius, twice as warm as the water in a natural spring. We can only imagine what the early people of Wales might have thought about these mysterious waters that refused to freeze even on the coldest of days. They must have felt that this was a magical, perhaps even sacred place. Those steps going down, that's cool. Then, in 1760, a German scientist came to visit. Guten Tag, Dr. Diedrich Vessel Linden had an interest in the medicinal properties of natural springs and came to Taswell to conduct tests on the water. Hmm, sehr interessant. After completing his tests, Dr. Linden's advice was clear. Patients were to drink a pint of the well's water, increasing this a little each day up to the recommended three half pints or more, before eating a hearty breakfast <laughs> and then going straight to bed. The perfect way to start any day. When Dr. Linden visited the well, it was less than one meter deep, but by the 1850s, oh, yeah, it had increased to meet the needs of the new fashion of thermal bathing. The Victorians were fascinated That's by cool. the healing power of hot springs, believing they could be a cure for all manner of illnesses, from rheumatism and gout to lameness. Oh, I'm cured! It's a miracle! <laughs> the early accommodation for lameness was very simple. Right. I'm cured, it's a miracle! <laughs> one visitor said that the wicker had provided would have been better suited to washing sheep or keeping pigs. By the 1860s, a metal shed gave bathers a little more privacy. Men and women had to bathe separately, and clothes were hung outside to show that the well was in use. Ladies who visited the well would hang their bonnets on the door. Despite such precautions, embarrassing incidents still happened. Oh, I'm so sorry. The facilities improved in the early 1890s, when a stone well house was built. However, even with its pleasant village location, Tafswell struggled to take advantage of the bathing craze, and people gradually lost interest in the waters. Then, in the summer of 1929, a group of locals had the idea of opening an outdoor swimming pool at the well, and soon formed the Tafswell Spa Company. The pool was popular with local people, and many learned to swim in its warm and safe waters. It was closed in the 1960s, but fond memories still remain. Whilst the waters are a natural wonder, some would say that they are also home to a supernatural one. Legend has it that a ghostly lady occasionally visits the well. Come closer, so do I want to go in? And I'll tell you the story it's of the awesome. great lady. It is told that one night many years ago, a man came to the well for water. As he approached, a lady robed in grey appeared and beckoned to him. As he drew near, she asked him to hold her tightly by both hands. The man did as he was told, and they stood holding hands for what seemed to be a very long time. The man was getting cold and worried about how long he would have to stay, when a sharp pain in the side caused him to cry out and loosen his grip. 
The lady cried out angrily that she would now have to remain imprisoned for another hundred years and vanished, leaving the man alone on the path to think about his ghostly encounter. Well, I never. <laughs> While you may not see the grey lady herself, I hope you've enjoyed listening to the stories of Taswell and that you come back to visit again. Goodbye. Dabochi. Ta da. It's lovely though, isn't it? Uh, I think there's a way behind the door. No. <laughs> I already looked. Trust me, I looked. Yeah. Don't be a vandal. Don't be a vandal. <laughs> I never vandalise anything. <laughs>